Hello guys, so today we are going to explore the stack. So tighten your seat belts and pay attention to the video. So what is stack? Stack is a linear data structure. Also, it follows the LIFO policy that is last in first out. Also, stack is our ADT that is the abstract data type. So, we will see one by one. So, what is linear data structure? It means that the elements or the data is arranged in a sequential manner that is the meaning of linear data structure so what is lifo so we'll see and understand by an example so consider the pile of books this has one second so this is our first book second book third book fourth book and fifth book so in order to have access to the second book we need to take off this fifth fourth and third book then we can have access to the second book so same policy is followed by stack so now we can relate this to the stack So as is a linear data structure, so this is our zeroth index, first index, second index, third index and consecutive indexes. So our data is inserted from zeroth index okay, and the consecutive upper indexes, indices. So when we want to delete the data data is deleted from the topmost position means data can't be deleted from the zeroth index it has to be deleted from the topmost index that the topmost data would be deleted first then the bottom then its bottom so which means that the data which is at the topmost position is deleted first that is the data which is lastly added to our stack is deleted first that is called as the last in first out so now we'll have a look at ADT what is ADT ADT stands for abstract data type Now why the stack is abstract data type? Because stack, in stack there are mainly two operations push and pop which are when operated on any set of data then it is free from that which type of data that must be contained by the set. Now we will take a look at the functions or the operations which are performed on the stack. So first is push operation. It is done to insert an element in stack. Second operation is pop. It is used to delete an element from stack and third one which is peak it is used to show the topmost element of the stack Now we will see how the stack is operated.
so now we will see the operations so our first operation is push 4 so this operation would insert the 4 that is our data on the 0th index next is push 7 so now it would insert the 7 into our first index next is push 9 so it would insert 9 on the second in se second index right so now here comes our pop function so pop function deletes the topmost element so now what's the topmost element here it is 9 right so this element would be deleted after performing pop function now peak function now when we are calling the peak function it would check for the topmost element now what is the topmost element here this is deleted uh, don't consider this now now this is deleted after performing the pop so now the topmost is 7 so 7 would be displayed on our output screen i hope this thing is clear to you now we'll move on to the uses of stack so the real world uses of the stack is to convert infix to postfix expression and infix to prefix expression so we would see them in detail in the upcoming videos so in the next video we will see the program of stack using c language and even we will execute it on our compiler and see how the program works what are the errors thanks for watching video till then take care bye bye see you